Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video tutorial, I show you how to get your access token and uh, how to make your first call to Facebook API. And uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own Facebook application and um, how to get uh, your access token and how to extend your access token using Facebook API in Java. So let's get start. To create your application, you have to go to developers.facebook.com and in app section, my app section, click on add new app and click on this advanced setup. Uh, write name of your application that you want to create. Uh, this can be anything uh, like I'm going to name it as YT. Facebook API tutorials okay we see the name that I'm going to choose for this application and uh, another thing that you have to select from here is the category of this application I'm going to select education and click on create app ID uh, seem like okay you cannot add uh, Facebook here I'm just going to skip it uh, YT API tutorials click uh, create app ID and verify this security check cats are cute right okay submit it it will create your first application okay perfect now your app is ready and other thing that you have to do is just copy this app ID into any of your text editor I'm going to use a mouse pad here app ID and uh, your app secret it will ask you for your password just type in your password and this will display your uh, app secret and save it in your file as well because we need these two uh, app id and app secret in our program to get extended access token to get access token from your application just go to tools and sport click on graph api explorer and select your application from here so now i'm going to choose this yt api tutorial and uh, click on get user access token and select all of these just in case we do not get any error while developing application and click on extending permission and select all of these two and click on get access token it will show the information that yt app tutorial application are going to use uh, just click on ok and it says that uh, this application will post to facebook uh, yeah i am ok with that and uh, let make it only for me because I'm, we are just testing application i don't want to mess with my friends so that's why I'm going to select this only me and click on OK and click on OK again now we have our access token now we can copy it I'll go back to our previous application this is the access token from graph API Explorer and now let's paste access token from our own application 
and let's run it so you can see that uh, we are getting data from Facebook but here is one problem uh, let me show you what it is if you select this and click on open in access token tool you can see that this access token is not valid it will expire within one hour uh, but what if uh, we will use this application tomorrow and uh, it will expire and it will want work to fix this we have to extend this access token we can use our simple program to do this so let's write our simple program let's create a new project for this small task I'm going to call it extend I'm going to make main class like this and click on finish now we have to add Facebook API library go to library add library and add this rest facebook jar file into your project and you are ready to go okay now let me copy this code from our previous tutorial and paste it in here we don't need these two lines we need just a uh, Facebook client object to get access token so we are going to use access token access token extended access token is equal to Facebook client dot obtain obtain extended access token this function takes two arguments first one is the app id uh, just copy your app id and paste it here and second one is the app secret and paste it here now we have to import this class from rest facebook library okay now we have this extended access token object uh, we can get access token from this object we will use sysout dot println to print access token to console dot get get token and we can also show it expiry date uh, on which day this token will expire dot get expires like this and now let's run this so you can see that we got this uh, horror access token and uh, this access token will expire on Monday Feb 29 2016 so we have two month old access token that will not expire in two months that's very nice I want you to copy this access token and paste it here now we will use this access token in our next tutorials I hope you guys enjoyed this video in the next video tutorial uh, we will start uh, getting get data from Facebook using our Java code